Hi everyone, this is Roshi Saslati from Team Inconvolution. We are participating in the Smart India Hackathon 2022 and are making a project on deep learning based cyclone intensity estimation using INSAT 3D IR imagery. Our problem statement number is SS591 from the Indian Space Research Organization. Now, to give you an experience of what our web application will look like for the average public user, let me take you through a small website prototype. So this will be our landing page. We are building a deep learning based tropical cyclone intensity estimator. Now, when you click on read more, it takes you to the about page. Cyclones cause mass scale destruction to the extent where they have changed land demography of the affected regions, bringing about tragic losses to life and infrastructure. By predicting the occurrence and intensity of a cyclone, we can build a progressive and efficient pre-warning system. Traditionally, the Dorak technique was used to predict the intensity of the cyclone using human interpretation while direct measurements were not available. These techniques are manual and, and time consuming that heavily rely on human expertise and experience that may cause human bias and higher error margins. Now for methodology, our model architecture is defined as follows. Our data consists of IR images and a convolution operation is applied on this input data in the convolution layer and passes the result to the next layer. We will have two different CNN models, one for the tropical cyclone intensity classification and the other for tropical cyclone intensity estimation. In India, the tropical cyclones can be classified into seven categories based on their maximum sustained wind speeds, which is actually the intensities. To name a few, a cyclonic storm will have 34 to 47 knots, a severe cyclonic storm will have 40 to 63 knots, a very severe cyclonic storm will have 64 to 89 knots. The max pooling layer combines the outputs of a cluster of neurons in the previous layer into a single layer in the next layer. Finally, the fully connected layer connects every neuron in the previous layer to, ev to every neuron in the next layer. The model predicts the intensity and other features such as the regions getting affected. Now, when you click on the storms tab, it takes you to the main page where the display shows you alerts for an active cyclone. We have taken an example for how it would give an alert, give an alert for the cyclone talk day. It gives you location, timestamp, and other details. When alerts are displayed, our backend model will send ad hoc messages to the required global awareness system for warnings and evacuations on land and water. You can also access the storms page directly from the landing page by clicking on the explore button. Now for the organization's ISRO and IMD users, it has a separate login page where it accepts only organization credentials and passwords. It takes you to a page where we have real time half hourly processed visual outputs and intensity estimation details. The images are one draw and three enhanced images of TIR1 data set, namely BD and curve enhancement, NHC enhancement, BT curve enhancement. The right side will give you accurately predicted intensities and other details required for further study by the scientists. Now I'd like to show you the display for when there are no active cyclones. Now, if you click to go back to home to the storms page, it will show you that there are no active cyclones at this time. You can browse the archive to view past storm activity. Or you can either go through the years, views or view certain infamous cyclones individually. For example, Cyclone Hudded from 2014. When you click on the cyclone icon, it gives you the details of the same. Now you can contact us for further details on the given email. These are our team members. With that, we finish the tour of our website prototype. For further project details, we have linked other videos and documents in the description below. Please check that out. Thank you for watching.